What's up everybody, Nate here. So because of the pandemic over the last few years, everything has pretty much changed about our society. Generations have learned that they needed to do certain things in order to be successful in today's culture. More importantly though, the way that generations have viewed their own success is now starting to change. Recent reports are showing that individuals 18 to 22 are a lot less likely to start going to a four-year college after high school. That is a complete switch from just about a decade ago where that was pretty much the norm. Now, generations are basically changing the way that they learn, they're changing the way that they view success, and they're changing everything about school. And that might end up leading to the complete death of college and universities as we know them. So today, I want to talk about where this big change came up, what exactly is happening right now, and how this is going to affect generations in the future. But before I get into all of that, do me a quick favor and hit smash or destroy that thumbs up button below and ring that notification bell too. Both of those two things are completely free and they help to show me that you like this video and that you want to see even more just like it. Thank you so much for doing that. And now the two biggest stats that I'm seeing right now is the actual college attendance rate and the likelihood attendance rate are both going down. Before the pandemic, about 71% of students were likely to attend a four year college. Now that number is down to around 51% and attendance rates are looking even worse now down by around 6.6% from when the pandemic began. Now, what exactly is sort of driving this? Well, the first thing is inflation. College right now is starting to get even more expensive than it was when I started almost 10 years ago. The average cost has boomed in the United States and colleges and universities are upping the price even more because they say that they have to raise costs because everything is going up right now. Their facility costs are going up. Also, the cost of their professors is going up and resources also need to go up in order to meet inflation. And in a lot of ways, that's not particularly their fault. I mean, it's not their fault that inflation in general has started to go up, but they are the ones that are on the receiving end of it because students can no longer afford to go to school. Most students coming right out of high school are now putting off college. Many of them actually put off college in 2020 and in 2021 and are still putting it off in 2022 because they just don't know what is going to happen with the future of our economy and inflation. They don't want to end up spending thousands upon thousands of dollars to go to school if our job market and economy is not going Going to be great. In addition, things cost a lot more now, so they're kind of waiting things out to see if in 2023 or 2024 the cost of a college and university is going to go down. So like I said, there is a big chunk that are putting off school in general. Now, not everybody is able to put off school in general. We still need doctors and engineers and lawyers in our society, and all of that requires a four-year degree plus. So what many students are starting to do is look at college in a different way. They're actually going towards community college, which is three or two years, depending on your state. Not only is community college a lot cheaper in most cases, but you don't have to go as long. And in a lot of cases, you can start your education there and then build on your experience and get the job that you really want. Again, that might not be true for your doctors, lawyers, and engineers, but you can definitely knock out a lot of your prerequisites, even if you want to become a doctor at a community college, and you'll pay usually half the price. So that is number one. And the second thing again has to do with money. Inflation is going up, sure, but the average cost of college and universities is also rising and it has been rising for the last 20 and 30 years or so. Students right now though want to make sure that the degree that they're going to get is going to pay off. The issue that many college graduates run into is that they get out of college and they have this really nice fancy degree, but they go to get a job and it doesn't pay nearly enough for them to pay off all of those loans they just got. I definitely learned this the hard way when I was going to a university. I wanted to be a school teacher for so long. It was my passion, it was my dream. But what I found out about three years into college was that school teachers don't really make that much money no matter where you go. At the time, I think the starting rate for a school teacher was around $30,000 to $35,000. And I had about $30,000 plus in student loan debt. So that means I was now building more debt than I was going to be making in a salary and I was going to have a very hard time being financially successful if that was the case. Ultimately, I decided to change my career. But the fact of the matter is many millennials and Gen Z fell into this trap and they didn't realize things like I did. 
they got out of school with a degree that they either can't use or that they can use, but their field is just not that desirable and they can't make that much money. So they changed their career path altogether. And this is a big part of what's going on in our society today. Millennials and Gen Z don't necessarily need to work for a living. Sure, they want to make money. They want to be financially successful, but they're starting to realize that there are a lot more ways to do that than going to school and getting a four-year degree. I was told pretty much growing up my entire life that I had to go to school. This was the only way that I was going to be financially successful or just successful in life. Now, the reason my parents told me this is because they saw how hard they had to work in life and didn't want that for their kids. And the one thing that made a lot of sense in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, the one parallel between all of that was a college degree. So they saw that getting a college degree immediately made financial sense but by around the mid 2000s, it really didn't make a lot of sense for people to do that anymore. This is because the market was becoming oversaturated and every single person and their mother was going to college. With everybody going to college, that became the standard and it became the standard because everybody was afforded the opportunity to go to school. Like I said, in the 80s and 90s, parents and that generation saw going to school as the means of being successful, but not everybody could afford to go to school. This is when the United States federal government decided to step in and provide federal student loans that were guaranteed for every single student in the United States. Now, even if you didn't have enough money to go to school, you could just take out a loan and then get a degree. But it's not like the US government kind of makes you go into a certain career path that you'll be able to pay off your degree in. You can get whatever degree that you want and some degrees and some career fields pay a lot more than others. And because of that, millennials have gone into a career path that pays next to nothing or there has been situations where millennials just avoid school altogether. Now you've run into a situation where millions of millennials have gone to school, gotten a degree, but now they don't have a job that pays them well enough in order to pay back all that student debt. This has kind of opened the conversation to student loan forgiveness in the United States. President Joe Biden has talked a little bit about doing this, but nothing is secured just yet. And let me tell you, you should definitely not rely on the United States federal government to forgive all of your student loans because student loans for the federal government is a huge money maker. It's basically guaranteed monthly payments for the United States government. And it's one of their biggest sources of revenue. So I don't see that going away anytime soon. But because everybody got a college degree, it has become the standard. And that really doesn't mean much for employers in 2022. Not only that, but when college was guaranteed because everybody could go on a federal student loan, well, the cost of college went up. Colleges and universities simply just set the price to college at whatever they wanted to because anybody and their mother could suddenly afford it. So it didn't matter. And on top of college being in demand, prices went through the roof, but wages and salaries throughout the United States did not. This is simply because some career fields are going to be a lot more valuable than others. That is just how an economy works. Like I said though, we have had kind of a great awakening in the United States. Many people are now just avoiding colleges and universities in general. And honestly, that's not really becoming a big deal because it was basically the standard. Well, now it's kind of interesting for a business to see that you don't have a college degree and maybe all you do have is experience. Sure, there's always going to be a need for colleges and universities. If you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, you have to go to a four-year school and then get that additional training. However, there are a lot of career paths where your experience is going to vastly outweigh a degree. You don't necessarily have to show that you have a college degree. You just have to show that you can do the job more effectively than another candidate. You can now offer something that no one else has, and that is going to be a lot more valuable to a job. In addition, you don't necessarily have to go to a college and university to learn all of the same things. We have YouTube and the internet and blogs and all of these different resources where you can learn basically anything you want whenever you want for free. Many individuals learned that during the pandemic. We were out of work. We were in quarantine. We had a lot of times to ourselves and we realized that there is so much education and information out there that is entirely free to us. When before we didn't really have a lot of time to consider what we could do. 
now we have the time and we want to do better for ourselves. Many high schoolers are now starting to realize this and are skipping college altogether. In addition, younger generations are realizing that they can make money without even getting a job. They have a side hustle or they start investing what little money they do have at an early age. That could build up to be millions of dollars over time. A job to Gen Z and the millennial generation is now just a job. Many of them don't want a full career. They want something that can pay them. They want to do what they want in their spare time and then take the rest of that money and invest for their financial future. They don't need that four-year degree to get a job that they absolutely love. They don't care about a job that they absolutely love anymore. They just want a good work-life balance and a healthy paycheck. And in 2022, to get that, you don't necessarily need to go to a four-year university. So are colleges and universities still going to be around? Well, like I said, definitely. There are still many careers that you have to have a college degree for. But I think that we are going to see attendance rates continue to plummet in the United States. People are not going to go to colleges and universities anymore. And if they do, it's probably going to be a three to two year community college instead of the four year plus degree programs. That could make the overall price of college colleges and universities go up and you're definitely going to see them getting a lot more creative, offering a lot of those classes that you could learn on YouTube for free, but they're going to give you that extra education in a classroom setting. And there'll definitely be incentive programs. And if all of this makes sense for you and your financial goals, then yeah, you should take colleges up on those offers in the future. But if it doesn't, then don't go to a college or university at all. Try to figure out what you want out of life. Don't try to figure out what you want to do in your life. Try to figure out what you want and then make a plan towards that. You don't need to figure out your entire career plan as an 18 year old. I certainly didn't and when I thought I did, I immediately changed things up. You can do the exact same thing. I wish I would have known what I wanted out of life instead of what I wanted to do. I don't try to plan that far ahead. I try to figure out what things make me happy, what positive contributions I can make in my life right now and if you figure that out, everything else will follow suit. And of course, be financially educated because the more you do that and the more you know how to manage your money, the better opportunities you will find in life every day. But now I want to hear from you on this issue. What do you think about colleges and universities essentially dying in 2022 and beyond? Do you think that fewer and fewer students are going to go to these four-year schools or do you think this is just an anomaly? And eventually we're going to see college admission rates go back up in the United States. Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below before you go. But that is it for today's business and financial news breakdown. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with all the top business and financial news from around the country, our team puts together a free daily newsletter and you can subscribe to it by clicking the link in this corner right here. And if you want to stay up to date with me and everything else happening in the business and financial world, I'm putting out updates seven days a week over here on this channel and I've actually got another one ready for you right here. So be sure to check that out before you go. That is it for me, everybody. Be kind out there and I'll see you all in the next one.